Hello everyone. Uh, in our last video, we discussed how we are going to insert the data using JPA entity. Okay, so what we are going to do now? So the last student which I inserted is John Dennis. Okay, so I want to update my update the surname. Okay, so how I can do it? Okay, so again we are going to use a JPA query. So let's create an interface which will accept an input as a string which can update the student information so I had to pass a student number and I had to pass the which I need to update like surname or forename okay so I'm going to write a new client I um, mean a new method into my interface so which will insert uh, sorry which will update the specific student information okay so I can put it as a uh, public wide update student and update student uh, just give me a second what is my data type just open student entity and you can see okay string for name student number is also a string okay okay so I'm going to pass string student number and string surname Okay, I'm going to write an implementation for this method. Okay, in my bean bean methods. Okay, here. So here I need to write a query to update my student information. This query is very simple. Okay, let's write a query first. Okay. Mm. Okay. Update and what is the entity which are you are going to update? It's nothing but students. Students set surname equal to the input which you are passing where student number is equal to the input in input data on to three for example okay so I'm um, this is how we need to write a update query this is the same as in JP also so let me write a query am dot create I'm going to use a na not native query I'm going to use a create JP query so update and more is my entity name this is my entity name update student and just give me a second what else we can do okay so update uh, student and we need to provide a list name student update student and s and I need to specify set s dot fish set dot uh, surname equal surname equal to and you need to pass the same I think it's this alias name we can uh, pass the parameter once the query is framed okay where s dot and let's copy the student number which is another uh, where class okay student number and I'm going to pass the same because I'm going to pass the parameter later okay so update set s set is equal to s dot surname and the my input variable and where the student id is equal to my input variable okay I forgot to put equal to here okay so I'm going to set a parameter for the surname and the student name student number okay dot set parameter so the first parameter is my surname uh, the data which is going to ascend for this which is coming from my input okay and the second parameter set parameter okay so the second parameter it is nothing but uh, my student number and this is my student number which is coming from my method input so if you are going to insert something you are going to use the persist okay but when you are going to update something you need to use execute update okay that looks good uh, let me go ahead and deploy it now okay deployment finished uh, the same way what we are going to do is we are going to write the another client so I'm going to come on top of this so I'm going to write another client method to call the update student and my input is student number 
and other is surname so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to update Dennis surname as equal to Matthew okay so this is my student number which is the record which I'm going to update so that is my first parameter and second is I'm going to update my surname John from ten John from John to Dennis okay or Matthew okay so I'm going to pass Matthew here Matthew okay looks good so we have deployed the changes let's Okay, let me put a SOP to make sure the method to see an indicator like saying method completed. Uh, completed. Okay, let's run this. Run. Okay, completed. Let's see the database whether the data properly got updated. Let's refresh. Okay, it's not updated. Let's check why it is not updated. So 2008. Okay, that is my simple script. Okay, okay, it's not updated still. So now we need to find out why. Okay, the reason we made a mistake in the query. So if I'm instead of passing sort number, I'm copy paste the same thing. Okay, so anyway, again another change. So we have to deploy it as is. We always do. Okay, deployment finished. Okay, I have a client, so let's go ahead and uh, run your client to see. Okay, why I'm putting a lot of type of mistakes nowadays. Okay, complete here. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. We'll see what happens. I hope it will work now. Okay, it is completed, but still, I need to see it in the database. Okay, just refresh it. Cool, see, we got the data updated properly okay this is the way you need to update the records okay uh, please try it yourself and let me know if you guys have any clarification i hope you guys enjoy the video please do subscribe my channel thank you